sorry, Heathcliff. You can't take a girl to the same old places all the time. It gets boring, and I have better things to do. Oh, come on, Sonia. What are you talking about? Why, just last week... I don't want to discuss it anymore. Unless you can come up with something different and romantic, we're through. Through? Ah, women. Ah, whenever I'm starting to feel down, I can always count on old Spike to come around to cheer me up, yeah? Hey, let go! Ah, don't get excited, pal. We don't want no trouble. The cat father wants to see you, that's all. The cat father? Who's the cat father? The cat father's our boss. We knew the neighborhood. He's heard a lot about you, see? You got quite a reputation, Heathcliff. He was wondering if it isn't too much trouble. Perhaps you could meet with him. When? Now. Okay, I'll see what he has to say. Yeah, let's go. You must be Meatcliff. I heard a lot about you. That's Heathcliff, not Meatcliff. Whatever. Listen, Beefcliff, I got something I want you to do for me. That's Heathcliff, not Beefcliff. Not Meatcliff, Heathcliff. Uh oh, oh, hey, hey. Sorry. Sometimes I don't hear so good. Anyway, Leafcliff, I got this little problem. I thought maybe you could help me out. You see, I'm a very well-liked cat. Cats are always giving me things like rubber mice, fish, milk. You know, things I like. Well, this is very nice. It also creates a problem. Being new to the neighborhood, we don't know our way around so good. Well, I understand that you kind of run this town, Three Cliff. Hi. I was hoping you'd agree to uh, collect these gifts for me. Why should I? What's in it for me? Oh, hi, Paroni. Didn't I mention? I can't use all these gifts myself. I thought maybe you could take some of them off my hands. You know, for your trouble. Hmm. Um, okay, pal. I can live with that. You got yourself a deal. Okay, Large Louie. Give him the list. I'll get on this right away, buddy. Uh, see you around. Hey, Catfather. What's with this present routine? Ah, little Joey, I couldn't tell him why the cats is really giving us these things. Yeah, boss. Any cats what don't pay up, we takes care of. <laughs> That's right, Lodge Louie. <laughs> that Heathcliff's too smart for that. Tabby McGurk, next on the list. Oh, Heathcliff, what can I do for you? Uh, hi, Tabby. Uh, nothing for me. I'm doing a favor for a guy. A favor? Yeah, your name's on this list I got from the cat father. The cat father? Yeah! Oh, this cat father sure is a popular guy. The cat father. Hey, fellas, I've been looking for you. Wow, Heathcliff, where'd you get all the loot? Oh, uh, they're not for me. Uh, they're for the cat father. The cat father? <laughs> Gee, thanks, boys. You were the last three on my list. Oh, Heathcliff, now this is romantic. Have a seat, my dear. Dinner will be ready in a moment. Thank you, Heathy. Ooh. Mm, this meal was delicious. Hey, uh, Sonia, I uh, I caught you a little something. Oh, Heathcliff, it's so cute. Uh, 
<laughs> Everything would be just perfect if it wasn't for that awful new cat in the neighborhood. What cat? Why, the cat father, of course. He's been going around and making all the cats in the neighborhood give him presents, or else. Or else, uh, what? You know. And there's some terrible cat collecting for him. That cat would have to be an awful individual to work for someone like that. Sly jived out frantic at Trying to put one over on old Heathcliff, eh? Yeah. Hello, boys. Yeah. Uh, don't be in such a hurry. You boys are about to help me save my reputation. Uh, hi, big guy. What do you want? <laughs> uh, uh, cat father, uh, we were sent here to give you a message from a very big, important, scary guy. You got a message for me? Let me have it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, dear cat father, it has been brought to my attention um, that you have encroached upon my territory. Get to the point. <laughs> yeah. uh, under the aforesaid conditions, you are hereby ordered to vacate these premises, and yourself and your straggly cohorts are notified you have one hour to pack up and leave town. Signed, the Heath Father. Huh? I don't know any Heath Father, but my boys are gonna give you boys a message to take back to him. Get him, boys. We're leaving or we're grieving. So, you're the meat father. That's Heath father. Heath father, and you're through in this town. The party's over, rat father. That's what you think. The party is just beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Run away! Run away! Bowling for gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> this ought to run out your day. And last, but not least, the fat father. Oh, no! Yes! Bouncy, bouncy, bad guy. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to fool old Heathcliff. Beefcliff! Beefcliff's the meat fodder. Beefcliff? Meat fodder? What's going on here? It's a long story. I can't believe it was Leafcliff. It was Leafcliff all along. Uh, and a scratching post for Tiger. Don't worry about it, Tabby. It's all there. Well, that looks like the last of the things the cat father took, Heathcliff. Oh, Heathcliff! Would you like to come to my house and play with the mechanical mouse you gave me? Well, Sonia, it really wasn't mine to give in the first place. Although, uh, I could always make its owner uh, an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> I can't hack it. Will you stop that racket so I can write my poem in a peaceful home? <laughs> Yo, 
Check my concentration. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> and you guys better shape up or I'm gonna trade you in for some oranges. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> Look at those suckers practicing for that benefit show. What a bunch of clowns. <laughs> yes, Bruno. I just can't stand clowns, dummies, and do-gooders. Speaking of dummies, here comes the king of the bunch. Bruno, why is it you never talk to me? You're just too quiet, you know that, boy? At least make a sound or something. Clap! Let me know you're there. Yeah, look what I got for dessert. Kareem pie. Yippee! Yippee! Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, what kind is it, Hector? Banana cream or vanilla cream? Sour cream. Have some. Uh oh, it was meant for Hector. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. I'm the only one that didn't get hit with a pie. How about that? <laughs> I think you'll really like the junkyard cats. They're the kind of cats who can set a good example for your boys club to follow. You know, intelligent, mature, good sports. Gee, I can't wait to meet them. Wait till I tell the rest of the guys. Ahem. What a pleasant surprise. May I remind all of you that you were supposed to be practicing your routines for the benefit show. We were. We thought we'd take a break and have some pie. I hope you don't mind, but can we get going? I'm really anxious to meet those junkyard cats. Bobo, these are the junkyard cats. Intelligent? Mature? Fellas, this is Bobo from the Boys Club. Glad to meet you. Hiya, Bobo. Hello, Bobo. On behalf of the Boys Club, I'd like to thank you for your upcoming participation in the benefit show. Our pleasure, kid. Should be a gas. Right. Yeah, excuse me. I'm glad you made a sterner stuff than that wimp, Bobo. To swipe all the fish donations at the benefit show will take coordination and split-second timing. If anybody will try to stop us, it'll be those dopey junkyard cats. What we gotta do is put them out of commission before they ruin the big swipe. Let's go. Now that's what I like. Enthusiasm. Drop the telescope anywhere and come see this. My secret weapon. Okay, boys, the peanuts are inside. Bruno, it's time I told you about my brilliant plan. Go! Don't get help like that anymore. They're fast and they work for peanuts. Where's a fish? We're behind schedule. Bruno, check the opening. It's got a wagon, you dummy. Fish, 
a poem by Wordsworth W. Wordsworth. Ooh, ooh. Fish are good, fish are fine. I can eat fish all the time. I like them big, I like them small. I'm not fussy, I like them all. Yeah! Have you ever seen so much fish? Yeah, I need five volunteers to try and lift this barbell. No way! Uh-uh. No hands. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I'm very proud. You were all so fantastic. Okay, you bananas. Don't let it go to your heads. We still got all that fish to load up. Hi, guys. Long time no see. If it ain't Boris, I thought you were still in the joint. They let me out on good behavior. And speaking of good behavior, I want to do a good deed. Feeling well, Boris? This doesn't sound like you. I'm going to show you where there's a fresh load of fish. A lot of kitties can be fed for a long time on his load. What do you say? My donation to the benefit show. Oh, okay. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look. In you go, boys. You start unloading while I hustle up some transportation. We don't see nothing. It's right at the back. Fresh halibut just in from the coast. Where? I don't see any halibut, boys. Go farther! Yeah, What's going on? Oh, everybody go. What time? So long, suckers. Have a nice trip. Hey, let us out. Hey, let us out. What's the big idea? What's the big idea? If you ask me, he's gonna swipe all the fish at the benefit show. We gotta stop him. Ha! How do we get out of here? Oh, uh oh. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, could you be so kind as to show us the way out? <laughs> Everybody jump! I don't want to see anything but horns ever again. Oh, no! Yeah, maybe he's friendly. <laughs> you yeah. Watch out for that big bully! A job well done. The big swipe will go down in the history books. Let's roll. Yo! Can I have two volunteers for the cream pie throwing contest? Fire! <laughs> 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 the Boys Club wishes to thank the Junkyard Cats for their participation in the benefit show. All of us here today have learned something from them. I know I have. <laughs> 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 One of the things you'll notice about dogs is they don't speak English. Dogs understand what you mean by the tone of your voice as much as by what you say to them. Okay, puppy. Sit. Always when you give commands, use your normal voice and be firm. Bad dog. Get back in the doghouse. If you want to correct your dog, use a quick, low voice. <laughs> <laughs>